What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, I think we are actually ready. I did my dailies today, so of course we need to destroy two three-star heroes, but we are all prepared from yesterday. It's just absolutely crazy how much food just isn't needed, and honestly, just about everything we're about to summon for isn't useful at all either but again we need to go for that five million crystals to transcend it so we can build gster or sorry mutated fungus gster not sure it's going to turn out but we have exactly 400 cores ready to go bam 400 we got a screenshot uh i think i'm going to keep saving x stone so i can just put x stones directly on him before we test him we of course have a decent amount of like sublimation slowly building up uh, we might even be able to go for like an upgraded perfect three set of gear on him immediately um don't think there's a skin coming out for him just yet and honestly he doesn't really need a skin so uh it'd be cool if they actually let us trade soul symbols on the auction house for starry gems man could you imagine if they actually let you buy stuff like re put resources up oh my god that could be amazing. Anyway, I'll, I'll probably have a separate video talking about that now. Things that could make the auction house even better. Uh, nope, not there. We need to go to the compass. Now, there's no point waiting uh, till next week to do this because Gster won't be hitting this hero list. Just like, if anything, actually, you know what? Isle of Mach might hit this list. That's, that's a big might. We're literally just going to stick with Vulcan on the right side, Vesa on the left side, and those are the two heroes that we awaken pretty much the most from the regular four factions and the light and dark. They're the most expensive version of each, each copy for every gala we do, so... 400 let's get going we are going to skip the cutscene this time oh wait i forgot to do the math on this hold on oh we hit two right out the gate all right so let's do the calculation here so 400 divided by 15 that is 26.667 uh repeating of course uh, so if we can come away with 27 or more we have high rolled if we come away with 26 or less we kind of low rolled and we should have gone uh, for guidance and not fate, but you guys know what we have to do every time we have this many cores We have to gamble we hit a Vulcan we hit another core that is amazing up to three already Four five six seven Seven spheres and 30 oh It's gonna be one of those days, huh guys? Uh, <laughs> seven and 30 eight and 40 Wow um, Wow is pretty much all I can say. 8 and 40. Okay, that's the first time we didn't get one of them just yet. All right, now we're starting to even back out. This is feeling a little bit better now. Okay, there's 9. Again, we're still doing pretty good at 9. I'll take that. And really, we just need oh, 10, 11. We just need these crystals. We're up to 11, which is sweet for us. There's number 12 right there. Come on, guys. Come on. All right. We got a hero copy at the very least. That's cool. There's number 13. So we're halfway there. So how many spheres we needed? And we're only 110 in, which is crazy. There's number 14, I think, right? Uh, <laughs> there's number 15. Another Vulcan copy right there. This is an amazing high roll so far. Unless we like really sputter, sputter off here at the end. 16 17 i think right we're at 17 at 100 oh my god we're at 17 this is crazy i should have never left this screen now my good luck's gonna go away isn't it 17 double vessa that's okay it's number 18 with a freya copy come on come on come on 1920 oh my god what a high roll Okay, yep, yep. Let's do some single shots here. A double. I think that's 22. Another. Another. Come on, come on. Okay, maybe I should stop doing the one taps because the one taps are not playing out well for us. Let's do our designs. I know the designs means nothing, but I just like it, it makes me feel better <laughs> in my head. Another double vested. This is starting to really slow down on the spheres, which is kind of how it evens itself out. 150 left to go and we're already at 24 so three more and we have already high rolled i mean we could get that literally in this one right here no not at all we need three more to be a high roll 
Okay, there's one of them. I was like, don't you fail me at the end of this, guys. Don't you do it. There's another one with double Vesa. We just need one more to be called a high roll. And then beyond that, we have 110 cores left. Wow. There's one extra bonus right there. Can we get another quad pull maybe? No, we'll take, well, I mean, technically, technically that's a quad pull right there, right? So let's see what that puts us at right here. We are up to 30. No freaking way, dude. 90 still to go. I'm feeling, I mean, this is like our best design right here. Let's just stick with this. It's, mm, no, maybe not. Let's go back to the OG design right here. Okay, so this is where we start evening out here. We started really high up and uh, now we just hit a bunch of these in a row without a single sphere but i mean i can't be mad at this point like we got them all front loaded if we literally don't get another sphere it's not really great we got another one right there we got 20 more to go uh went from like an amazing high roll to kind of like a bit of a high roll very last design right here guys we're gonna do a zigzaggy pattern all the way across we hit nothing but the big important thing here you see we're at 5.1 million crystals of transcendence and honestly i probably hit a lot of copies here as well so we came away with a 32 32 which is insane and then on top of that actually how many hero copies do we have now let's take a look at vesa we had a few already in the bag uh we got lots of vessels to awaken we have a bunch of bees just kind of chilling here vulcans i don't know if we had really any at all so we ended up with like five vulcans it looks like somewhere in that ballpark right yeah we got five vulcans so not as many vulcans as i wish for but we did hit a lot of that and then we just have like ridiculous amounts of food here <laughs> We just have so many five stars again. Uh, we just trashed them once before. We're probably going to do it again. So this right here converts to how many? Oh, I forgot. You actually have to like pick the right number on this. 32 translates over to 8 million. 8 million stellar shards, which we are most definitely going to need those in combination with the spiritual essence. Because most likely what we're going to do is get Gster up to at least Origin 5. Um, and then maybe some X levels as well. Or we'll start distributing those X levels on other heroes. I don't know if they're really necessary on him. We're going to have to wait and see how his skill card actually looks and feels. Because I don't know if he's actually a hero we want to build. Or at least to use. I think what we're going to do on this account... To help buffer up our team for next star expedition where our lord of fear aspen is doing the damage we're of course going to have our mystic fairy fray in the lineup for that evolutionary factor 33 percent giving more poisoned damage buffs and then we need to see how his core is going to work out because his core might also buff us if the enemy is burning too like i don't know if it's like an either or type situation but uh yeah that was probably one of the most successful void summonings we've ever done hopefully you guys enjoy this one be prepared we're going to be live streaming on thursday night and i'll see you guys next time